people of spice. Except my spices, I didn't think this opening line through at all. After I'm done, I check my map for directions to the spice of life and decide to walk instead of drive since it's pretty close. The door jingles as I open and drag my suitcase into the shop. I look up and freeze. Why? Doesn't look too bad. Lisa stares back at me. Well, at least you don't look like a dog. I guess you got that going for you. Her hair is short and she looks meaner and older than I've ever seen her. But it's definitely Lisa, Paul's ex-girlfriend. Ah. That's a bad thing, isn't it? Because that means we're on unfavourable terms with her. She confirms it when she calls my name. Dave? My boss just straightens. Lisa, what are you doing here? I tried to sound casual, but I'm pretty sure I failed. You did. Lisa looks at the ground and mumbles. What was that? She looks up and glares at me. I work here. I don't know what to say to that, so I snap at her without even thinking. Really? After the way you dumped Paul for working at his family business, I can't believe you! Wow, what a wonderful thing to say. I am almost yelling, and I watch Lika shake for a moment in either misery or anger. I'm not quite sure. Probably anger. Lisa stares at me, and I swallow. This is certainly not one of my finest moments. There's no need to say anything. I'm well aware that my life is far from glamorous. This wasn't really something I wanted to deal with right now. Pathetic. I broke eye contra a contract. Contact. Shrugged and just thought of something vague to say. It doesn't have to be glamorous as long as you're happy. Lisa gives me a hard look. So what are you here for? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? That saffron. It says fifty dollars. No, it's it's a hundred and fifty now, Dave. I let her change the subject. I'm opening a restaurant. I'm here to pick up some ingredients. Lisa looks gobsmacked. But you, I mean. Did you just graduate? And you just broke up with Emily? I nod. Yeah, she's not involved, but my parents are funding my first month to prove I can do it, so... Oh, okay, what can I get for you? Hey there. Hey. <laughs> oh, this is all good. Um, Lord, this is more expensive. Two forty nine. Well, salt and pepper. Let's get two of those. Uh... What's this here? Um, I don't want to look at the name because I should know what it is. Ginger. There we go. I knew I'd get there eventually. It is garlic. $4.96! Jesus, America must be expensive. What is this? Lemongrass? Ah. It's just so much better than everything else. But I really want money for meat. Ah, oh, let's just pick up some more ginger. That'll do. Thanks. My pleasure. The perpetual frown on her face doesn't convince me. Can I help you with anything else? Nah, this is great. Thanks, Lisa. Sure. Do me a favour and don't come back here. I don't bother saying anything. We know this is the best place for me to buy spices and speciality ingredients. What did she say? Do me a favour and don't come back here. Great, so we're already on awful standing with her. Bye. Lisa gives me a half smile. Yeah. The butcher's pretty close, but in the opposite direction of the spice place, so I decide to walk. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, that was incredibly awkward. I walk inside, but there's no one at the counter, but the place just opened. So the current butcher is probably checking on things in the fridge. Oh, hi there, I didn't see you. I run towards, I turn towards the person and see the top of a person. She is small, there is no getting around that. Uh, oh, sorry, give me a second to stand on the stool. This is why we have legislation to cut out on this sort of discrimination. Stand on the stool? Come on, man. Ugh. Once she moves, I see her over the high counter. Other than the fact that she's not that tall, it looks like this is the person Paul mentioned earlier. That's better. Hi there, I'm Claire. How can I help you today? Nice to meet you, Dave. I I <laughs> nice to meet you, Dave. No, nice to meet you. I am Dave. I'm here to buy some meat. Claire laughs. That's what I'm here for. To buy meat? I fucking hope you weren't right. How much is meat? Well, that can just fuck off in every way possible. Um, alright, well, we'll buy one of each. Uh, what? <laughs> of course I'm not counting tofu into that, because it's not a real meat. Um, alright, well, chicken is gorgeous. Let's get some of that. Pork belly, beef, pork. Oh my lord, look at the quality of that, baby. Uh, fine, let's just grab one tofu. One. 
okay? And then we'll cook it, and then everyone will mock us for having tofu. Were we supposed to buy everything? I honestly don't remember. This could have been a mistake. As Claire finishes wrapping up uh, my purchases, I ask her a question. So, I didn't expect to see someone like you working here. How did that happen? Claire smiles at me, but I feel less genuine than before. Oh, this and that? I didn't mean to offend you. It's all right, I get that a lot. Did you need anything else? Oh God, we just offended her. <sighs> Dave can't keep his fucking mouth quiet, Jesus. No, I'm good, thanks. Claire smiles a little more brightly. Then we're done. Let's just finish ringing everything up and... After I finished organizing my kitchen, Dante came by so I could teach him how to work with me. Exhausted, I barely remembered to check the hours at the butcher before going to bed. The next morning I eat breakfast and I grab my backpack and place ice packs in it to hold the cuts of meat. I don't have any time to waste. In the afternoon, Katie is coming over to review table settings for the opening night. Okay, everything's ready. We have, like, no food! <laughs> We're getting... Uh, I hope... The meats can be cut up into several different meals. I hope we're not serving people like, hey, here's one whole roast chicken. Ugh. Everything's ready, we're opening up so soon. I'm terrified but excited. It's a little lame, but I decided to call my mum to get reassured that everything's going to be okay. It is lame, you are correct. I wait for the other line to stop ringing. Hello. Hey mum. Oh, Dave, what a surprise. I thought you would go to bed early so that you could be up early tomorrow for opening day. I scratched my head. Yeah, well, I'll go to bed soon. I just wanted to talk to you some. Oh, that's sweet, honey. Don't worry, you'll be wonderful. My mum is so cheesy. It's kind of lame, but nice at the same time. It's dependable. I would stop believing anyone who was that positive all of the time. But that, I, I guess Dave is something different. But since I have you on the line, I guess we can get something out of the way. What? Don't think that we don't think you can do it. Your father and I just want to uh, have some sort of gorge for your success. Great, I want some support from my mother and instead she gives me some, some more stuff to worry about. Why do I have to gorge? Why do I have to... Why do I have to have a gorge for anything? Oh, I knew I'd get it eventually. Well, we agreed that you needed a certain amount of success. Yes, yeah, so... I tell you guys how much I made at the end of the month, right? That's what we need to talk about. Your father and I decided you need to make a minimum of $200 this week to show so you can make a profit running this place. $200. You're telling me we need to make $200 and that somehow justifies keeping a restaurant open? $200, so we're just not paying staff, presumably, or electricity, or water, or... I get $200, that would have to be off food alone. <laughs> I'm not wonderfully excited, but okay, sure. That sounds horrible. How can I keep buying ingredients if I have to give them so much money? Does that make sense? We want you to get a feel for budgeting and how to deal with low and high revenue. It's just a lot. Yes, it can seem like quite a bit, but you only have to pay from the second week onwards. Originally, your father wanted you to pay at the end of the first week. Be glad you have another week, I guess. Don't worry, I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure I can do that as well. $200 sounds really easy. I grin. That's going to come back to haunt me, isn't it? I grin even though she can't see it. No problem. Your father just told me some local miners from the factory across the street from your place that you're opening up tomorrow. You'll probably see some people from there come to see you. They care the most about the taste of something and how fast it is to be done due to how short their break is. Maybe try to cater your first dishes to reflect that. I'd also suggest try and keep your places l prices low. Give them a reason they want to come back. I'd say 25 markup would be safe, but you could try and push your luck. Just make sure they can afford the dishes as well. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Damn, wish I knew this before I stuck the kitchen. Great, next week I'll introduce you to someone who can bring new customers to the restaurant. Thank you, mother. Love you, etc. Yeah. Yes, very much doable. I don't know how we're going to get ingredients and do that, but whatever. In order to prove to your profits, to your parents, not to your profits. Uh, in order to prove to your own personal bank uh, no, that you can manage the restaurant, you need to prove you can make a profit. By the end of the week, you need to have enough, made enough cash to reach the goal amount listed in order to pay them off. Visit your restaurant in order to learn how to create recipes and sell food to your customers. When you're at a location, you see an option to list things to here. These actions is time with. Okay, cool. Time and different actions will show up at different times of the day. Also, your actions. I am already bored. Uh, right, let's do something. Four dollars eighty-three. Well, we're not taking anyone on a fucking date quite yet, are we? What's this here? A bag. This is all of my stuff, presumably. Very nicely, you can actually filter all between it. 
Uh, what I want to see is... Okay, no, I want to go to my... Hang on, what's this here? Relationships. I don't know how we're at the same... Like, Paul and Lisa are at the same amount... Oh, uh, whatever. Reasoning, appeal, research, inspiration, and cooking. Right, got it. Right, let's map and let's go somewhere. Let's go to my restaurant. The restaurant is where you sell your dishes to customers. To sell dishes, you're first. Need to have recipes to create a recipe. Select the create, edit recipes. Okay, cool. Each recipe can have a meat, vegetable, and spice to set the ingredient for each type. Okay. Note that recipes don't need to have each type in them. To keep this in mind if you're trying to target customers with smaller budgets. If you finish creating your recipe, be sure to set its price by either selecting the cash that don't... Yeah, okay, cool, boring. You'll see how well you did. There'll be a list of customers who visited the store, what they first purchased, and how much they spent. Uh, he... Dokey, okay, this makes... I, I guess, like, we won't know what's going to happen until doing it. Right, let's create recipes. I would like a new recipe. Right, so we need to set spice, meat, vegetable. Uh, I don't know, so spice. Now, any of you, right, so it is literally one. That's a problem. Alright, taste. Salt and pepper. And then, for the meat, salted tofu. Ugh. Yeah, see, taste. That is why tofu is awful. Let's just bang some salt and some chicken. Done. I don't have onions. Whatever, that'll do. Arrow will cost $11.46. Okay, sweet. Well, we'll get rid of the fucking carrot then. No, no, no. $8.26. Okie dokie. Um, right, so. I want to change the name. How do I change the name? Oh, up here. Salt pepper and chicken. Yeah, no. Hang on, right, first of all, move myself over here, because this is probably the most useless part of the screen. You just navigate by doing that, but you'll soon find out where I am. This is annoying. I have to skip here, so I can't click at the end. Oh, well, whatever. And then... Right. It's cheap. Have fun. There we go. Uh, so, what's 25% of 826? So, $2.07? Okay, so $2.07. So, how much is $2.07 on 826? 10.33? Alright, so... 10... 50. Oh my god! No! No, 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 That's not what I wanted at all. $10.50. There we go. 27.12. We just rounded it up a bit. And I would like to... Is it now in the menu? Yes! It's cheap! Have fun! Right, there we are. We, we'll, we'll set a new recipe of another meal. This is fun. Set meal? Um, Alright, sure. Garlic? What does garlic go best with here? Oh, that looks like it has some amazing taste. Have some garlic pork belly. This is for our more refined customers, and, uh, potato bollocks. Um... We didn't put too much thought into this. There we are! At the minute it's 15.56, so just call it $20 and call it a day. Alright, maybe not. Maybe, uh... Oh, no, no, we need to do a restaurant thing, don't we? $20 seems like quite a lot, doesn't it? 19... 50! However, doesn't seem as much. See? Uh, go back, and then let's create one last, like, ultra cheap wank. Um, obviously, this has to have tofu in it. Shouldn't have bought one of each, really, now that I think about it. Green sauce, that'll do. Tofu and green beans, and I'm going to call it. You, um, don't brag too much about your blatant veganism. 
There we go. Done. And we'll sell it, I don't know, $9, so $12, 25%, so we'll say $11.50. There, there we go, close enough. Right, and that should be our menus. Um, I guess check menu, check on Dante? I don't really care about checking on Dante, all things considered. Let's go somewhere else. I could open the restaurant. I feel I'm gonna spend a lot of time at meat though. Let's go to you first and talk to you. Oh my god, we've been recording for 15 minutes already. <laughs> Keeping these episodes when you're having, like, short when you're having fun is difficult. As Claire idly chats with me about cheap chicken quality, I can't help but notice that she looks a little bit cuter today than usual. Oh god, I've never been put off by a game as quickly as that. It just dropped the word cute. It was a weird thing to talk, to think about while having a conversation on mechanical processing. Maybe it was the way she was smiling at me like a dog. It was the kind of smile that made her eyes soften like a melting chocolate. Or maybe it was how she kept laughing at all my jokes, even the stupid ones that made her seem even more attractive. Oh no! Oh, you didn't just say that! Good God, man! Ah, oh. it could have been how she kept finding ways to touch my hand while we were talking. Wait, was she flirting with me? Wow, it's taken you that long to notice. Our conversation probably should have taken a pause there, since I couldn't think of anything to say, but Claire didn't really notice my sudden silence. I mean, cellulose is just a fancy word for wood pulp. They put that stuff in plastic. That They say it's good for you, but our bodies aren't used to eating wood. They're used to real meat with fat. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to be told off by so many people the proper way of cooking. I can tell this already. The human brain is even made of fat. We needed to think. I nodded at Claire at the possibility that she could, could be flirting with me, washed away with her words. Honestly, who flirts while talking about sawdust in meat? Uh, people who are really, 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 really enthusiastic about food. I remember reading the cellulose adds more fibre to the meal, which is supposed to be good for people who can't afford meat that isn't cheap, since they don't usually get enough fibre. Well, that's probably part of the reasoning anyway. Tch, excuse more like it, they're trying to put fluoride in the water, all good intentions dressed up as excuses. Oh god, no. No! Don't start talking to me about conspiracy theories, please don't. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard about that. It's a pretty big deal back in the 60s, I remember Gramps talking about it all the time. But he was saying that fluoride... Fluoridation was a communist plot to undermine public health, so you know. As if saying cute wasn't as, you know, a big enough put off. Now we're talking about conspiracy theories set up by communists. Oh, Jesus. Claire let out a. S oh, I thought that said sweaty. Sweetly familiar laugh that I instinctively went along with. I didn't really want to derail things, but it was getting late. Hey, I need to go. I said it with the life last, which caused Claire to pull a cute, lightly annoyed face. Oh, there's a fucking cute one again. Oh, sure, just love him and leave him. She laughed again. Hang on. What did that say? So that I'd know she was kidding. Hang on a minute, would you? Claire ripped off some receipt paper and wrote something on it before handing it to me. I turned it around in my hand and looked at the note. It was numbers, to be precise, it was a phone number. Oh, come on, you didn't really think that would be a thing? Jesus Christ, man. Uh, you keep forgetting to ask me for it, so I thought I'd save you the trouble. <laughs> is this for the shop? If by the shop you mean myself, then yes, it is. She gave me a very sly grin as my thoughts went back to the possible flirting thing from before. Are you asking me out? Of course not, a lady never asks a man out. She was teasing me now. Thanks for the meat. Something, something, probably not the first time you'll ever say that, I don't know. I picked up my bag and waved through the receipt, still in hand. When I had a chance, I put her number in my phone. So can we now randomly call her at times? Also, it's the afternoon, so... Sod it, let's open the restaurant. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Can we save the game in case we fuck something up? Yes, we can. I would like to create a new save file. I'd like to call it... Uh, te YouTube Bants. There we are, because I'm a cool kid. Pretty cool. Um, ha, huh, that's odd. Do I have to press escape again? Oh, that's weird. If you save it, the menu disappears. Well, that's something for the beta. It is a beta. I want to open the restaurant. Minor nothing, minor nothing. Young lady, don't rack it. <laughs> oh, you fucking knew that would happen, didn't you? Nothing, it's cheap, it's cheap. Holy shite. 
$12.50. Alright, we need to make something which is like $8 then. These people have like no money. Okay, got it. $37.50 is okay. Oh, I can only make this in the beginning. No stock, no stock, and we only have one of these and stuff. Well, that is a problem. Yeah, we get okay. Instead of buying one of everything, a mosquito has bitten me. That's why I keep looking down. Uh, instead of buying like one of everything, what we will need to do instead is buy lots of stuff. Alright, create edit recipes. Edit recipe. What do I have lots of? I guess let's just do new recipe. Do I have two of anything? Alright, two of ginger, so that, that'll do. Do I have two of anything of you? No, that's a problem. Alright, what's the price? The cost is... Ugh. You know what, fuck it. Hang on, set me none. Oh no, we can't just serve people ginger, can we? <laughs> Surely we can't just serve people ginger, that would be weird. Alright. None. Meat. Do we have- oh no, we have lots of vegetables, don't we? There you are! Have a potato! What more could you want? A potato with ginger! And, because it, 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 it's cheap, it's, it, it's for the peasants. Nine dollars fifty. That's twenty percent. If you don't want that, I don't know what you could want, okay? We only have three meals, though. We need to go and buy more of one stuff, honestly. Yeah, okay, let's go do that. Go back. Uh, map. Is it open? I wonder? Should be. Hey there! How you doing, buddy? I would like to buy some meat off you. Uh, chicken, what's the taste looking like? It's looking like pretty goddamn snazzy. I would like to buy three of them. Uh, would I like to buy three of them? Yes, I'd like to buy three of them. And then I'd like to go to Vegetables Place. Hello, Paul. How are you doing, buddy? I would like to buy a few of your awful carrots. Awful, awful carrots. Cool, and now I would like to go back to my restaurant. And I would like to <laughs> see... <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Oh, right. Okay, that's fine. Then. Uh, delete. We're not going to do this anymore. And I think that's the only one we actually have something left of. So, one meal. It's a chicken. Okay, we're going to call it... Uh, no, I don't want to remove from menu. Change name. What am I going to call it? Uh... Hmm. Uh... I don't know, I guess chicken run. There we go. That, that, that's a reference the kids like. And then for the price, we will put it at, I don't know, $8? Whoa, that's quite a lot. Uh, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to change it for seven fifty. That's still a lot. Seven... Oh, God, no. Uh, seven dollars. Yep, that'll do. Right, cool. So it's called chicken run. And then uh, for the person with a lot of taste around the meal. Right, yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. A chicken and carrot. Oh, we can put carrots and potatoes for our other menu. There we go. We've got this going. We have so much of, like, everything. So, carrot, chicken, carrot. $8.97. There are women here who come who have $12.50. So, I shall put this at $12. That's too much. Okay, I get what you're trying to say. I will put this at $10.99. Just to be really awkward. 1099. Oh no no, I said 1099. 22, there we go. And we'll change it to uh the I don't know, carrots and Rudolph. Oh god no, I don't want chicken and carrots. Sod that. Rudolph died for this. There we are. And we're calling it Rudolph died for this because there's a carrot in it. There you go. Good enough. Um, and it's 1099. And then we're going to have a potato. Oh no. Can we have multiple? Po oh, we can't have multiples, can we? We can only have one. 
Oh, this is a problem. Alright, carrots and fucking what do we have of spice? Carrot and ginger. <laughs> you have no money. There we go. You have no money? $7.10. What's 25% of that? I should really be making, like, keeping a track of this, shouldn't I? It's less than $2, so, I don't know, $8. No, not $8. Jesus, $8. Would you stop? It's very finicky. $8.50. There you go. Go back. Go back. Open the restaurant. We didn't make that much money, but okay. How many of you actually spent stuff? So, right, chicken run, chicken run, Rudolph died, you have no, and then we, I don't think we had any more ingredients is the problem. So we have $46. And now it's the night. Is there anything we can do during the night? Why can we go at night? That's weird. <laughs> All right. We have enough carrots. We just need chicken. Looks like the store is closed right now. Maybe, okay, well, whatever. I guess that sort of makes sense. We, I can open the restaurant now. We have like nothing to sell is the problem. So we won't do that. Um, home. All right, sure. Going to bed makes sense. It's getting late. Late, damn straight it is. Time for sleep. We have $46. We need to call up Claire. You know what we're doing next episode, don't you? We're going on a hot date and then we're getting cheap chicken. That is the only reason we're doing this. There is... All right, we sort of like Claire, okay? We sort of like Claire. Don't push more out of me. But remember, it is also, you know, nice discount too. Nice discount. 